we all need food and plants are a major source of food for us a plant grown in large quantity to get food and other useful things is called a crop crops are mainly food crops example wheat rice oil producing crops like sunflower mustard etc or fiber crops like cotton jute etc all crops do not grow in all seasons crops like rice and maize grow from june to october such crops are called kharif crops and are dependent on rain crops like wheat and pulses grow well from november to april Such crops are called rabi crops and are not dependent on rain. As plants are producers and we human beings are consumers, we grow more of them. This practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other purposes is called agriculture. There are various stages of agriculture. We start with plowing. The soil is first made loose with a plow. The loose soil allows air and water to pass through and helps the roots of crops to penetrate easily into the soil. After that, manures and fertilizers are added to the soil to add nutrients that crops would need to give a good yield. Sowing is done or should be done at the proper time. The process by which a sufficient quantity of water is supplied to the crop plants for the proper growth is called irrigation. When the seeds germinate and the seedlings come out, it is necessary to protect them from pests, diseases and weeds. Pesticides are sprayed to protect the crop from insects. Farmers use scarecrow to scare birds away from fields where crops are grown. Fencing is also done to keep away grazing animals like cows and goats away from fields where crops are grown. After that, harvesting is done, which is the process of cutting and collecting the mature crop. Lastly, the crops that are harvested needs to be stored properly so that it can be consumed later. and children now do you know as to how the rice or the apple you eat come from thank you